Oh, oh. Every time I plug the battery into my quadcopter, I have this fear, no matter how irrational it is, in the back of my mind, that as soon as I plug in the battery, all of the motors will just start at full power and become little meat grinders and grind up my little fingers. Now, I know that is very unlikely because Betaflight has checks built into it to keep that from happening. So something would have to be catastrophically, freak accidentally wrong in order for that to happen. However, I can't help but think what would happen if that did happen. In this video, we're going to find out. Do not try anything that you see in this video yourself. Keep your hands as far away from your propellers as possible, as frequently as possible. Let's see what happens. Real quick before we get started, I want to let you know today's video is sponsored by PCB Way. So go check out PCB Way if you need some custom electronics or some printed circuit boards. That is what PCB stands for. They got all kinds of circuit boards. They got flexible circuit boards, they got rigid ones, they've got rigid flex ones, they've got like crazy ones for LEDs and like all kinds of stuff. They also offer uh, rapid prototyping services. So if you need something prototyped rapidly uh, using sheet metal, injection molding, 3D printing, or CNC machining, they got you covered. So if you, that sounds interesting to you, go head over to pcbway.com, link in the description. All right, let's go. Three, two, one. All right, for our first test here, and we're going to put the hot dog as close as we can to the motor. So let's say that's like idle for a quadcopter. And arming. Oh. So that's bad for the motor. If we do that too much, it will burn up. All right, so let's take it up to half throttle, let's say. Dang, see, we're just it just explodes like that. Half throttle. Nothing. Okay, let's go like halfway out, mid blade. Okay, still nothing. It just doesn't get enough force to actually do anything. What do we get at the at the tip of the blade? Oh, still nothing. It still blocks it. Okay. Let's go even farther out. And so let's say right there. Well, how did that get past it? Oh, it went backwards. Now we know that as long as the propeller can't really make a full revolution, the hot dog is gonna be okay. So, uh, just to confirm what we kinda already know, let's just stick this thing in there when it's at half throttle. Oh my gosh, that was very loud. Oh, oh. Dang, dude, look at that. That is nasty. Yeah, you don't wanna do that. You don't want to have that happen. So here's another thing that I'm thinking. Let's see what it would take to actually stop the motor. Let's start at like a, a low idle, like, I don't know, 10% power. Okay, and then we're gonna try and jam the hot dog in there. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay. And let's look at the, uh, let's look at the damage to our hot dog. Ooh, ooh. So it is cut about halfway, halfway through. So yeah, it didn't it did not escape cleanly. Ouchies. Ouchies is what I say to that. So let's try. Well now it's already compromised. We got a compromised hot dog. Let's get a new hot dog. New one. Ugh, see that would suck if that was your finger. It's so slippery. I can't even I can't even get a hold of it. So we how do we even want to do this? Don't get in there, hot dog. Alright, now we're going to test about if we but first we'll do bottom to top like this uh 50 throttle there we go three two one. Oh wow i had to kill it there that was uh that was looking bad i shut it off now of course you know human fingers have bones so that's something to think about um dang though dang okay let's try now let's try from the bottom from the top to the bottom Ooh, 
Ooh, yeah, that do, that definitely doesn't work any better. Because that just comes out like a... Well, that's basically a blender, is, is what that is. That is exactly a blender, because it's everything is made to go from the top to the bottom through the propeller in that way. So, okay, so you definitely don't want to do that. Okay, so now, put our hot dog in our scientific testing equipment here. And now, we will get one of these bamboo rods. These are not the really thick kind, they're like the skinny kind that you get from the grocery store. Um, so just to give you an idea, they can be broken fairly easily, but they're pretty strong in terms of like, they'll bend, they won't necessarily snap. So let's insert the bone into our finger, bone simulation. I have no idea actually how similar that is to bone, but the point is to get something that is harder than just the, just the, you know, mushy meat. We'll go from the side and see what happens, like 50% throttle. Alright, so that's what it ended up with. I'm just showing the other cameras here. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, so that's kind of like what would happen probably to your finger if you if you did that. Is that that would uh all the meat and juicy stuff would be gone and then your bone would be there and that's what would stop your finger from getting chopped off probably and again these are pretty you know small propellers and small motors just uh, a little something to keep in mind there okay a little something to keep in mind now we need to we'll need to test the scenario to see if for some reason if the quad were to go at full throttle max voltage all of a sudden if having your fingers in the radius of the propeller would stop the propeller from actually spinning and cutting you so we got our we got a fresh hot dog with the bamboo bone insert let's see what happens here let's start pretty close and three two one yeah, that's all we got okay say three two one we're at full throttle full throttle nothing so what's interesting is with the three bladed props the the maximum like distance that this thing has to go is only a third of of the of the rotation like a third of a rotation to build up speed you know what let me get a let me get a two bladed propeller and we'll see if it's any different all right here we go so let's say on low throttle so like that there okay let's say farther out still nothing okay let's go up to 50 percent okay and let's start where so we give it as much room as possible nothing let's just go up to 100 percent that's a lot and let's do the same thing so and we're kind of going out towards the tip as well so here we go no nothing okay there is actually some little tiny bit of damage it looks like little tiny bit but it just kind of broke the skin of the hot dog and i think the hot dog is gonna have weaker skin than uh than you are that's the damage there just for funsies let's uh go like 50 percent throttle and let's just kind of run into it let's try that you ready <laughs> Still did not go through the bone. I think that kind of answers that question.